The man is seeking the Prophet's advice. The Prophet ﷺ told him, لا تغضب. Don't get angry. Yeah, give me more. Don't get angry. Don't get angry and the Jannah is yours. The Jannah is yours. The Prophet ﷺ also said, He who controls his anger, though he could vent it, but he held himself. He controlled his anger. Guess what will happen to him? On the day of resurrection, in front of all mankind, Allah says, where are those who used to control their anger? Get up. Here are the Huriyat, the Huris. Choose as you like. This is the reward for those who control their anger. Most of the crimes because of anger. People they kill because they got angry. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخر. And that's when the heart is attached to other than Allah. They call other than Allah. That's it. وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهِ لَا بِالْحَقِّ They don't kill. But if you are angry, you kill. Most of the talaq, most of cases of the divorce because he was angry. Why did you divorce your wife? I was angry. What is the reason? Silly reason. He feels shy to mention it. Anger. If you work hard to get rid of this disease, the anger, you will be all right. Control your anger. Prophet said, when you get angry, if you are standing, sit down. If you are sitting, lie. Or get up, take wudu, pray to rakaz. That will be the end of it. That anger will die. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu one day, he got angry with his wife Fatima. Fatima, imagine. She made her husband angry. So Sayyidina Ali, he left the house. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa came, asked his daughter, where is your husband? She said he left and he was very angry. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he knew where to find him. He went straight to the masjid. He knew where Ali would go. Ali radiallahu anhu, he went to the masjid, he prayed to Raqqa and he slept. The Prophet found Sayyidina Ali sleeping in the masjid, his cheek touching, touching the earth. He tapped him, O oh, father of dust, get up. Sayyidina Ali goes back to his wife, Salaamu Alaikum, it's over. That's why the ulama, they classified the anger. There are three levels of anger. Three levels of anger. The first level, the man becomes insane, mad. He doesn't know what he says. He goes through blackout. Totally. They said if that person has reached that level of anger and he said the talaq to his wife, he uttered talaq, you are divorced. That talaq is invalid. Battle. Why? Because he was mad. When he cooled down, his wife told him, you uttered the talaq, you divorced me. He said, no, I didn't. He was mad. The second type of anger He's very angry, but, but he, he, he recalls, he remembers that he uttered the talaq. He remembers, but he could not control himself. He could not stop himself. He was very angry. 
He recalls that he made talaq, he pronounced the talaq, but he could not stop himself. This also type of talaq is not valid. The third type of anger, which is the normal anger. No one will divorce his wife while they are sipping tea. No one. So this type of talaq is valid. And you can refer to the fatawa of talaq by Sheikh bin Baz rahimahullah ta'ala. So the anger, it's a disease. A disease, you need to work hard to get rid of it. Asallahu al-Azim Rabbil Ash al-Kareem an yu'afina min al-amrad ma zahra minha wa ma batan innahu wa liyu dhalik wa al-qadr alayh aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum innahu huwa al-ghafur al-rahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala wa man attaba'ahu dahila yumati the third root cause is that you give up and you surrender to the shahwa, to the desire, the desire of the flesh. So the lust dominates your life. You become a slave for your desire, a slave for your whims. And this leads to the zina. You follow the desires, you commit zina. And that's what Allah said. وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرٍ وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهِ لَا بِالْحَقِّ وَلَا يَزْنُونَ Following the desire leads to the zina. And Islam has taught us how to save ourselves from that. The beauty about Islam, he blocks all the avenues that lead to the haram. And what might lead to the haram is haram. Islam told us, lower your gaze. Tell the believing men to lower their gaze and to protect their private parts and see the link and the relationship. <coughs> he said no man should sit with another woman alone because the third person will be the devil. No khalwa, no privacy between a man and a woman. The third one is the shaitan. No woman should travel without a mahram. So what might lead to the haram, Islam blocks that avenue. Because prevention is better than cure. Prevention is better than cure. So no free mixing in Islam between men and women. Because that leads to the haram. No listening to music. Because music facilitates the way to zina. No argument about that. Music leads to the zina. And most of the music is sex oriented. So Islam has protected the Muslims from all types of sins. All types of immorality. So we need to work hard to purify our hearts, attach them to Allah. And control our anger and guard our senses against the haram. We lower our gaze. We don't listen to the haram. We don't eat haram or taste haram or smell haram or touch the haram. Because the pleasures of this world are nothing.
because there is hellfire. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, A man will be brought on the day of resurrection who had fun all his life is uh, committing haram, enjoying himself. And he will be just dipped once into the hellfire. And then he will be asked, Have you ever tasted pleasure? And he would say, Uizzatak. No. No. My dear brothers and sisters, let us repent and turn to Allah and quit sinning. Because any time the angel of death can visit you, do you want to die while watching a movie? Do you want to die while you are browsing and watching dirty websites? Any time the angel of death will visit you. As Allah al Azim, Rabb al Arsh al Kareem, and Yutahira Kulubana, As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi Asmahi al Husna, Wasifat al Ula, and you alifa baina Kulubina, when you rudd al Muslimina ila deen him Raddan Jamila, Allah humma ruddana ila deen a Karaddan Jamila, Allah humma ruddana ila deen a Karaddan Jamila, Allah humma ruddana ila deen a Karaddan Jamila, Allah humma slechna waslechvina. واهدنا واهد بنا واجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى يا رب العالمين أقول قول هذا وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقيم الصلاة